All right, what's up, gang? Oh, John here. Um, Going to do a brief video on how to clean the Castle Serenity pellet stove. Uh, worth its weight in gold, let me tell you. Um, right now it's cycling down. Uh, we gotta let it cool down and then uh, we'll get to it. Uh, I know some people are gonna say, hey, why are those curtains behind there? Um, just so you know, the back of the unit does not get that hot. Um, this is all you could touch. Uh, there's no heat radiant, it was tested before. All your heat's gonna be up in this. That area there in the front gets extremely hot, as we found out in the past. Uh, we did get the, something burned onto that, leaned up against it, but uh, I was able to get it back to almost new looking. But uh, yeah, once this cools down, we'll start. Um, beautiful stove, got it at um, Home Depot for I think it was uh, $1,100. And with the uh, smaller, smaller house that I have, this whole downstairs, this thing heats perfectly. Um, it's vented out the back. We have the uh, the fresh air that's uh, bringing in. And on the other side, obviously the, uh, the discharge. Um, that does get warm, but uh, not enough to, you know, the curtains are no, no issue. Beautiful stove, and uh, we'll get to it once it cools down. All right, guys. Um, start off with... Uh, Make sure things cool down. Uh, the fan's running now, but it is cool. Um, I highly recommend, if you don't have one, I wouldn't recommend using a regular shop vac. Uh, I got this vac. It's a Snow Joe from Amazon. Paid 40 bucks for it, worth every penny. Um, it's for ash. It has the filter in it, so if it does pick up something that's hot, you know, it's not going to, uh, it's not going to burn inside the vacuum. So that's good. So. Um, okay, well, let's get started. Uh, the door's open, obviously. Um, it's cooled down. Um, I'm gonna just watch where I'm back in. Um, get all this stuff picked up. I have an attachment on here. Uh, ash does accumulate everywhere inside this thing. So you wanna make sure you get as much as you can out of it. in here you can see you can't see through the holes. Take your vacuum. Rub it out of here so you can see all the way through. Through the walls of it. That ass that gets kicked on there sometimes. All the way good. Holder here. So when you drop these, not 
one end is sticking out too far where you have that gap because then ambers are going to fly up. So they will fly up from the pit with the fresh air coming in and uh, they'll actually go out. You can actually see them coming out the barrel right in the back. Um, so I found if you level this up even between this, drop the whole thing down, you don't have one side out too far where that's going to happen. Okay? I take a brush. Let me go through all this again. You never know. Make sure you drop the ash guards back down. I've done that a couple times, you know. You could actually be flying in there and eventually the end is going to go out your dura vent. Okay. Alright. As far as the glass, this is what I was told by um, an installer for this. I don't use cleaner for the glass. Uh, you know, you'll have that uh, caked on. As long as you clean that out daily, you'll never have a problem. Like I've seen stoves where people just have it caked on. And, and, but if you leave that on there, you're gonna have that problem. So what I do is I get a paper towel, just wet it with a little bit of water. Go one way on the glass, one way only. I don't circle it or nothing. Then it gets that all cleaned off, then I get a dry one. Same thing, just one way. Get that glass cleaned up. Boom. Like new, of course, with the inside. Um, I have this sitting on a six inch lift with the uh, stove board. The lift was actually made a uh, friend of mine, he has a, uh, he does woodworking, a Bravo Alpha Woodworking. Um, you can find him on Facebook. He did a great job with this. Uh, it's like I said, it's vented out the back with the Dura vent. Um, other than that, we're ready to go. They recommend once a week go out to the Dura vent, and I use a leaf blower, believe it or not. The Dura vent, the bottom part comes off, dump the ash. I put the leaf blower up in, just hit it and it cleans it right out. Make sure your door is closed when you do that. Learned the hard way, left the door open, come in, dust. So anyway, that being said, um, we're gonna throw some pellets in it and they recommend also, um, I didn't do it now, but the, the side will come off in the back. Uh, one, once a year, probably once a season, is you're gonna take that uh, exhaust fan apart, which is pretty self-explanatory. I do have the instructions. Just go take them off, I'll vacuum it out, put it back in. But that's it with this stove, man. I mean, this thing puts out some major heat for this house that we have. Um, within 25 minutes of this thing being on, it'll be 72 degrees in here, you know? And uh, so anyway, I hope this video helps. Uh, I highly recommend this stove. I've had pellet stoves in the past. Um, this one here by far is probably the best one and the cheapest one I ever bought. Uh, Castle Serenity pellet stove. And it's available at Home Depot. Well worth its weight in gold. Okay. Okay. Easy. Top lifts up. I use the um, the 40 pound bags. Green Team from Lowe's. Um, I've tried different different couple manufacturers, and uh, honestly, these ones are the they produce less ash out of all of them. So they burn clean. You might pay like maybe a dollar more a bag for these ones, but I'll tell you what, they're fucking worth it. So dump them in here. Okay, this thing's ready to fire up after we just got done cleaning it. Still have a lot of bag left. I still have some ash in there, but definitely need to clean. Um, I run it on manual. There's three different settings. You can have temperature, you can have it set to um, come on at certain times. I just leave it manual and I leave it on three. Like for, for the downstairs of my house, perfect. So, all right, fire that up. And uh, thanks for watching and uh, we'll take another video when it's up and running. Okay, well, about five minutes after you uh, fire it up in manual uh, the pellets will start dropping um, the igniter will uh, start getting red down in there and uh, those pellets will start catching now this will fill up with smoke um, and you can see now 
but uh, that's normal, of course. Uh, smoke before fire. So uh, you want to make sure um, you have the nice airflow. If you're using the outside air, which I am, um, you'll see how it burns. It'll burn fast um, compared to like a lazy flame. Um, if you if you have a if you have a lazy flame, you definitely have some kind of mixture problem. Maybe with the air. Maybe it's not getting the air it needs. But uh, you'll start seeing these embers blowing around. Um, the smoke is, so you can see it up there, it fires up pretty quick. Uh, it doesn't fill up that much with smoke. Uh, you can hear the air flowing through it now. That fire is not lazy. It stays, it'll get, it maybe starts getting warm. It's already, I can already feel it. Like this, this thing here, that's a strong flame. Well, you see what I was saying earlier about that? If you have that ashtray centered in between the, the pot um, and you drop those garbs down, those embers that are flying around there will land in there. You don't want one side sticking out because and then those embers are going to get sucked out through the exhaust right up, up into the uh, dura vent and you'll have embers flying out the, uh, the back. So, yeah, I mean, it, it's normal. It's a pellet stove. I understand that. But uh, it prevents that, you know. I, don't, I really don't. Really don't like that look, but but uh, yeah, that's it. Now it's gonna fire up. Um, that's it. And thank you for watching, and God bless, guys.